What's up, StarCraft fans? It's Monday, 4 a.m. in Manila. Let me see time for the week invitation. This week, we have Olnar New Year on lock and load with fireworks. Everything explodes in our direction when they die. And oh, look at envelopes. Free money. It's basically free money. I'll be playing this time as Swan, Chief Engineer. So I can have, you know, the pulse cannon laser drill. Uh, the pulse cannon concentrated beam. My mass reach will be concentrated beam width and damage so I can you know, kill more things with each beam. We'll also have um, structure health so my buildings can tank a bit more damage before they die. And also laser drill build time upgrade time and upgrade cost because I don't need uh, to save gas or to save minerals for Vespine drones because I'll get a lot of free money. I'll be going on the solo queue. Thank you to uh, Bean Veron, Karan Queen, and Darth Lixnix and Shadow Archon who are supporting me in the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. This time I'll be with a Swan ally, a Korean dude. Let's see if this guy will stay, knowing he has a Swan ally. All right. Start. Good luck, have fun to the ally. Not enough minerals. So I'll send this worker here uh, and patrol this area, just so I can spot the uh, the free resources as they spawn. Uh, enemy Zerg looks like that's gonna be a little annoying. Because Zerg has more units, meaning more stuff will kill us. The good news is, I'll be mostly using the laser drill, deal damage, and anything is just anything on top of that is just extra. Okay. Up the factory. Let's start looking out for. Uh, oh, there's, oh, nice. Patrolling SCB picked it up. Good. Okay. Build this thing faster. Nice. What's up? I just picked these up. Alright. Black is a really popular option, isn't he? I think it's mostly because he's very easy to play. For his power level. Like, I can think of a commander I can think of some commanders who can outmuscle Tychus, but none who can outmuscle Tychus with the easiest to play. Maybe Zeratul, but Yeah, Zeratul is still uh still requires macro at least. At the very least. Alright, I want this armory finished by the time I have my uh uh, laser drill ready to go, so I'll rush that out. And this factory over here. Okay. Here we go. My dragon laser drill's coming online. Okay, this seems possible. Okay. Gotta start port. I'll be going for mass rates here. Uh, mostly because no one ever goes rates. <laughs> I, I pick swan because no one ever goes swan. Uh. Yeah, that's made logic here. Very sound logic, wouldn't you say? Okay. Okay. Dudes here. Start this thing. Okay. You pick up the thing. All right. Ally. Up a drone. Free Gotta love that, right? Yeah, I do. Who doesn't love free? Who doesn't love free Vespine? Okay, get start these upgrades. Okay. Come on. Pick this up. Okay. Nice job, my ally. Gotta get everything. Got a bit of the enemy too, so it's nice. Alright. Then I say we go capture it. Sound good? Cool. Alright, um ally doesn't seem to be uh cool up dudes. A celestial lot is under Amon's control. Your objective is to reclaim it's ground zerg. A bit, uh, a bit tanky. 
Okay. I'll send my war bots up north. Keep making workers. Let's get this money. Uh, Let's be nice. Allies on top of the cursor collection. That's good. Very good. Okay. The lock has been activated. We must endeavor to keep it that oh, way. No, 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 no. Just starports. Oh, forgot to start the, the pulse cam. Ah, that's delayed. That's really bad by me. Okay. Continue. Oh, there's there's free money. Yeah, let's pick that up. Get the range upgrade. Okay. Alright. It's really nice having the laser drill. You just get to deal that from a distance. It got free kills. It, it just gets free kills. Oh, let's get this. Okay. We got some cloaked enemies hiding around here. Where are the detectors? All right. Concentrated beam online. Okay, I'll help the ally with this. Okay. Watch out for the dude links. They also. Drop fireworks. The Zelnaga construct has been corrupted okay. by Amon's void energies. It would be an act of mercy to destroy it. Over here, collect this money. Cool. Okay, drill in this area. Not enough minerals. Okay. Amon's forces are moving to seize the celestial lock. All right. Complete. Pick this up. Our ally must be present to play the objective. Oh, collect this money. And get to the depot. Reporting in. This money? Alright. Allies fighting this thing. Ooh. That's a bit painful. Alright. Let's use this thing. Got it. Calling down a special delivery. Send one over here. Just right click as far as we can and then this will be the main damage dealer. Let's send the rest in. We are one wow. Step closer to that doesn't actually kill anything. Nice. Okay. Okay. More depots. You build a deep over here. Are you? You? Other you? All right. W. All right. Get these. Another factory because I can get more and more of these things. Our ally is waiting for us to claim an objective. Claiming an ally, don't worry. Don't you worry, ally. Uh, let's run out our our harvesting. Ten minutes. Oof, that's frightfully inefficient. All right. Concentrated beam online. Use the concentrated beam over here. Put that whole area out. Okay. Okay. Stand it. Go. Break the waiting order. We have managed to reclaim three of the five okay. locks. Two more, and our battle is won. The enemy is attempting to capture a celestial law. All right. Go. Oh, another start for it. Oof. Reclaiming it is your main objective. I'll have to fight that. Actually. Cancel that. Start attack upgrade instead. Ooh, I don't want that to. Ooh. Ooh, that's a human. Ooh, that's. Uh, Investor is so stupid. Investor is actually so stupid. He's gonna nuke something. I'll probably fight this thing. 
Black is going over here. Amon's minions are contesting the law. They will soon gain control of it. Okay. Okay. The allies got it. Nice. Okay. okay. Try to get the moving shot every time because the, the rates deal more damage when they're moving. Alright. Oh, I'm actually short of minerals. Let me, let me gather some more. Okay. Use the minimap mostly to move around. Okay, use this guy. Pick up some more stuff. Okay. Four of the five blocks are under our control. Only one get more wraiths. We'll try to get this whole thing. Our allies are being Okay. Okay. And the Ari's there. I don't even have an engineer bay yet. That's funky. Oh, that's the die right on top of SCB, isn't it? Ah, whatever. Oh, it survived. Nice. Nice. That's really nice. All right. Let's send a wraith over here. Cook it. Of course. Great, the waiting order. We cannot allow Amon's army to take control of this lock. Okay. Just get as far as you can and then drop this pulse cannon. That's gonna drop a lot of stuff. Okay, I want to do the bonus, whatever. Whatevs. It's free XP, so I'm not gonna say no to that. I'll help them, of course, because it's out of principle that I never do the one on this map. You never you never do this map. Oh, you never do the I never do the bugs on this map out of on purpose because it's always faster. It's always more efficient, uh, exp wise, to uh, uh, skip the bonus because you waste more time than the exp per minute that is worth to complete this map. Okay. Okay. Just keep just get the moving shot every time. Okay. Just dodge that. Cool. We're nearly maxed out, by the way. It's really neat. Alright. GG! Nice. I did max out. That was perfect. GG! Good job, my ally. So I also used the prestige trick on this map, so I will get six levels for Swan. Pretty good. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else to do, please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. I think I think my ally did more because he's uh, he's Tychus. But let's check out the EXP. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and level six. There we go. So. Um, I got, yeah, that score screen. Come on, there we go. Oh, actually, I got more. Not bad. Not bad for a swan. <laughs> Managed to outkill a Tychus. <laughs> ah, pretty good, pretty good. So, laser drill obviously had the most damage for me. Not surprised. My laser drill almost had as much damage, as many kills as all my ally combined. And laser drill, of course, had more damage than anything else I had combined. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good thing to have that laser laser drill just sticking in your base. The reason I went for the fast drill upgrade is so that I can have more of those uh, those uh, top bars more often. The concentrated beam and the pulse cannon. I just use them whenever they're available and try to time it so that I can hit a wave and the base. And yeah, blaster ability I had three kills with blaster abilities. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Oh wait, those three kills with the rocks. I'll take that too. <laughs> I had 41 kills for the Ares. Pretty efficient, I would say. 41 kills for 18 of them. Yeah. Not the best, but still efficient. I lost 20 wraiths. I actually don't remember when. 
Oh yeah, that one fungal. The fungals are pretty annoying. But other than that, I don't think I lost any rates. Oh yeah, I still maxed out despite losing 20 rates. That's pretty good. Yeah, the star of the show is the laser drill. Uh, if you want to level Swan, this is probably what you want to do. Just get your two top bars for the laser drill and then just uh, get vision using your rates. And then, uh, using your rates and your ally. And then, once the uh, the bulk of the armies have been whittled down, that's when you fly your rates and it's easier to dodge the fireworks with rates because you want to do the moving shot with them anyway. You guys had a lot of questions and comments last week. So Ricardo says that Stukov paired with P1 Kerrigan would be truly incredible because uh, Stukov auto spreads creep and Kerrigan's malignant creep uh, is improved. That is correct actually. Uh, yeah, if you have a combo with Stukov and P1 Kerrigan, it's gonna be good for Stukov because the creep will make it better. For Kerrigan, um, I guess it'll, make, it'll also make her better but uh, the, uh, the lack of uh, Omega Orbs is a bit too much. Some guys had comment uh, had a comment agreement over that. I someone said that the uh, Omega Orbs are only for mobility. It's not only for mobility. It's not only mobility. It's basically omnipresence since you transport your map instantly. You don't run there and get information. You get there. You've already fight and usually Kerrigan stuns. The the enemies before they uh, before they are able to shoot back, so your hydras will have free reign for a bit. So yeah, it, I would say it's omnipresence because you can. It's not a single use. It's here, there, and everywhere when you use Omega Worms and you have enough of them. So uh, and it's not only that; it's also detection. You don't need flimsy overseers that get shot down as soon as they enter the field, and tanking. So it's a triple. It's triple triple use. Tanking. Omnipresence and detection. Why wouldn't you go with the Mega Orbs? It's too good to pass up on. Anyway, yeah, with P1 Kerrigan. Uh, it's a great pair with Stukov. Jeffrey says that the P1 Kerrigan prestige, the Malibu Matriarch, is doo doo. Not entirely. Um, it's very, very niche in that there are one or two maps where it can use it on, but otherwise, you would be better off with other prestiges. Uh, even on those two maps, those prestigious uh, would be better than P1. So, yeah, not entirely garbage. There's only one entirely garbage one that is two P2, because it actively makes, uh, it actively destroys your hotkeys, and also uh, not providing any benefits. This one, not, uh, is this one underwhelming, but not complete doo doo. All right, and finally. Uh, Carry on Queen, who is supporting the Pulse Cans here, says that it would be nice if after the map is loaded, we can get a screen sh uh, well, which allows us to get to select the prestige we want. I agree. This is a good. This is a good uh, suggestion, and I believe it might have been brought before. But the thing is, Blizzard doesn't really do that anymore, or Blizzard doesn't really update this game anymore. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The only hope at this point that we have of this happening is if Blizzard somehow hands off. The, uh, the property rights for StarCraft to someone who is committed to developing. Maybe Shopify. I don't know. Uh, thank you all for your comments. I read them all each week, including the critical ones. Please join my Discord group if you want to chat more or appear in one of my videos. Also, please vote on the weekly invitation polls linked in the comments below. Please vote. If you want to help support the channel, you can become a Patreon supporter by clicking the link on top right of the screen. Any support will immediately give it for preferred status for status for content suggestions. And if you have any more questions, ideas, and feedback, please leave them as comments down below, and I will do my best to respond next week. See you. Also, happy regular uneventful Sunday with nothing important happening.